Hit pause there. Green. You ready? You ready? No drop frames. Okay. So. Yeah, I guess I'm ready. So let me let me show you. <laughs> I've got this is my arcade oh, yeah. stick. Let's, let's see your, your base stick. So it's just it started off as an inexpensive arcade joystick that I bought, and I've replaced all the buttons. That's with, homemade, right? With Sanwa parts. Well, no, I mean it's home modified. <laughs> Like it's it's just a box with some hardware inside that decodes button inputs, right? Um, mm -hmm. And I did I didn't like the buttons that came with it, so I replaced them all with really nice Sanmo ones. They're nice light touch. They're kind of quiet. Um, yeah. So I guess we're ready to play. Here we go. Oh, super game. All right, let's insert coin. Push to the right. So, uh, super game is hard, right? You no. Not the hard game? No, it's not hard. It unlocks the, hard? the the special stuff. So, no, the normal game is hard. To to No, I to... played a little bit of a super game. It, it replaces some of the enemies with, with harder enemies right at the beginning. Okay, well, here we go. We're going to Oh, the maybe monsters. it does. Actually, I think you're right. Um there's a combination of two things. Well, we can see how it, how it is. Oh, I gotta start too. Thank you. Okay. Um, super game might count as second loop. You might be right about that. But it also... So there's a series of secrets in the game, which you can only get if you play the whole game without dying. Um, without dying once? Oh my god, that's really yeah. hard. It's ridiculous. Like, if you get to stage 20 without dying, there's a secret that, that appears. In super mode, it should just appear. <laughs> and I think that's more fun. Um, let's hope everyone likes this music, because it's going to be the music for, for the next hours, in the next couple hours. Ooh, sushi. I mean, not sushi, ramen. I thought that was How can fun. we still get Japanese food, this one? No, that was totally ramen. It was a bowl of ramen. This one still has Japanese food. I don't think they really did much to localize the arcade version. Do points give us something, or just for bragging? Uh, I think you might get extra lives at enough points, I'm not sure. Man, I wanted to ride the water. I find this a lot harder to, to ride the water in this one. I, I, I was trying before and I couldn't, couldn't do it. In which one? The there arcade one? Or... Go. When you say yeah, this no, one... Yeah, no, in the NES one. I, I was having trouble riding the water in this one, but I could ride it. I can always easily ride it in the water in the arcade. Oh. Um, The physics are kind of weird, because, like, there's... There's a little bit of acceleration. I don't know if it's acceleration or if you just have kind of like two speed states, but you gotta move a little bit before you jump or else your jump will be really short. It kind of reminds me of Ice Climber a bit that way. Oh, people don't hate the jumping ass climber, don't they? So, Koichi, uh, this is the original one. The original one isn't one for the NES. I mean, well, I guess it's a, the NES port is a port of, port of this one. Um, what does that do? Is that a thing? Just points? The NES port, I I discovered like why some of the levels were weird about it. I believe it's a port of the Master System port. Which is kind of weird. Um, like they made the Master System port and then the NES port is sort of a cut down port of that. And instead of... So it's a port of the port? Interesting. It seems to be. And like the extra levels... The levels that are different in that are like bonus extra levels in the um ha ah, that was a mistake on my part. They were um they were bonus levels in the second loop in the Sega version. Oh, you got him. And so inserted into the NES game they're they're kinda weird levels. And I don't really like them. I think they're kind of... They're cool as a bonus, 
but they're not good as the main series levels, if you know what I mean. And... I don't know, so I ended up, like, not really caring for the NES port. It's still a good port, but I, I think it's not one of the better versions of the game. It's a good version of the game, but it's not... I'd prefer... several oh, other What did we get versions. in there? Oh, did it come up? But it was like a year or two ago, I went and played a whole bunch of versions of Bubble Bobble. Ooh, the... Bow tie. Now I got the... Look at that speed. It's like the best power-up. Ah! What did you get hit by? About, uh, by Bubba. Or oh! No, sorry, monster. By, by, by monster, I think they're called. I didn't even see it. Aw, oh, heart! That's just fitting because this is a this is a date game. <laughs> you know that, oh. right? Yeah, no, I got, I got good. How are we gonna get get in there? All these monsters are not gonna let us go, go in there. Wow, well, that was pretty good. The water did it for us. But you did know that, right? That this, is, that this game was intentionally made to, to be for dates? I mean, that sounds like a good idea. They have... I knew... I know it's intended for two players, like, that's all over... Well, especially if you play through the game, the ending will... <laughs> tell you to come back... The king, 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 the king... Wait, I thought it, the king was a power-up. Uh, at the end of the level, a bunch of stuff will drop. It's, a, it's an end-of-level bonus. I need to pop these. <laughs> Before they get mad. There, that's what the candy cane did, the watermelon. It's different on every level, though, like what you'll get. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, I know the game was designed around... ...having two players. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, there's the, the Wick Donalds. Okay, so, so just for starting come back. Okay. Yeah, the reason people believe they can't continue in one player is because if at any moment there is no player active, the game goes to the um, the game over screen. So as two players, if one person goes down while the other one's still up, they have time to put in a quarter and continue playing. If you're playing one player, if you don't have a credit in the machine and you're not holding the start button at the moment your character finally expires, it goes straight to the game over screen. Oh. Lightning. So, you, you can okay, continue okay, as one player. Okay. I actually did a playthrough of this. So, yeah, like a, a year or two ago, I did a playthrough of a whole bunch of versions of Bubble Wobble, oh, and... Really? Um... Ooh. Another heart. What does that flashing heart do? It's a monster heart. Uh, we touch oh. them for bonus. Oh, and, and what's for both of us? You have the, but I'm also invincible. Cool. Hey, Tarxix! Hello, Tarxix. Um... Yeah, so I have I have a full playthrough of this where I use that technique to continue. Um, which I also had to do in the Atari ST version. Um, it has the same problem or same same feature. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It seems more? deliberate when they keep it in the port. Oh, there's an umbrella. Do you want to skip some levels? Can you get it? Because I'm stuck. Oh! Well, <laughs> I can't anymore. Fell into the trap. Can you get out of here? Because my bubbles burst immediately, huh? You just died? Uh... How'd you get out? I died. You died. I don't know. Okay, so don't fall into the menorah. Maybe I can use this lightning. Got one of them. This is always a bit tricky. Oh Falling into those spots can... 
Ah. Oh no! I think if a bubble comes by, I might be able to bounce on it, but... You can hit those, um... Lightning in the middle, I was gonna say, but... <laughs> I guess that'll work. Um... Yeah, I played through the arcade version. I played through the Atari ST version I had as a kid. Um... It was a pirated version. Oh! Uh, up here... Maybe I was wrong about super version, because there should be a secret that appears up here now. There should be a spooky door, but I guess not. Maybe I'm misinformed about what the super version is. Maybe we're just playing... Seems harder. Oh. <laughs> I've been showing you the... Oh. Sushi, sushi, sushi. There's sushi up there. On the sushi. Me sushi. Wait, you got the sushi? Nobody has Nobody the, sushi. the sushi. Sat on the table too long and it went stale. What does this extend do? It just gives you an extra life, no? Mm-hmm. And finishes the level when you complete it. Which is... can be useful. More sushi, more sushi. Give me sushi. These yeah, enemies I, the I remember a lot more easily here than more easily here than what? I feel like I have a harder time. The bubbles seem more bursty here than they do in the any other version. Oh, um, well, they're supposed to break on that spike on your head or on your back, your spiky back. That's how it's supposed to work. Um, but they'll also break if they're under enough pressure. All right, there's my oh. first continue. This is my, I'm, I'm almost up to my second. What, what, what does the, the clock do? It's gone. I wonder if, I wonder if I have it backwards. Maybe super mode is the original arcade mode. <laughs> and normal mode is what I thought super it's mode was. It's definitely, it's definitely harder, like, the, the 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 monsters are are are, are replaced with the harder monsters for the most part. I guess if we finish this, we can try the other mode. <laughs> Ooh, a soft serve ice cream. Uh, playing the arcade version. Different enemies are in different that stages. Oh. Oh, this is, this is the one where you have to fight them, right? Oh no. Sushi! Fight? Oh. You, uh, drop some flames in the pan, and then you can run away. But we've, we've failed to pop the corn. <laughs> there. Maybe, maybe we'll get one this way. There you go. One popcorn. Hey, we got pretzels. This is going a lot faster than I thought it would. It's a... it's a... a pretty swift game. I mean, <laughs> some of the later levels get pretty hard. I don't see any credits indicator. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, look at, look at my bubbles. Yeah! Oh, there's a cross there in the middle if we can... It's hard to get up in this level, though. Yep, there we go. Oh, it does? Water for everywhere? There's sort of, like, some attack of nature <laughs> that crosses. There's, like, lightning or water. Oh, you got the fast bubble. That makes this level a bit easier. Hi there, Raspy Doo. How's it going? That's a good... Soft serve, uh, soft serve! That's a good snake. Monsters. 
Was was Rattle and Roll the name of the snakes in Snake and Rattle and Roll? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped out of there. <laughs> That's where all the enemies float. I, I like these fast bubbles. Oh, I couldn't get my bananas. Oh no! And the end. Oh nice. Extend! What does that do now? It uh, gives so you an extra life. So I'm Bub or Bob? You are... Bob or... I'm Bub, right? And you're Bob? Yes, I think so. Bob Rune and Bob Rune. Or Bub and Bob, depending on... I. I think, like, the entire localization for the game was just, like, what they call the, <laughs> like, the marquee stuff king, king, king. That, that maybe explains. The king of the king. So if you blow bubbles before the level ends, they all turn into the, the treat. As you see. Oh. What do we get? Chocolate, um... Oh, man. This, this level was, like, a game ender for me and my dad. <laughs> I played this as a kid, because, like... We would, like, wait for something to appear in the middle. How do you get in there? Well, okay, if you have rapid bubbles, you can just kind of jump in there to do that. But this is the technique. You can kind of jump through the corner. <laughs> it, that's a technique that works oh, pretty well. I I'd say we're, we're into kind of the advanced levels of the game. Like, not the super advanced, but, like, this is about where it gets kind of tough. I lost my fast bubble. Well, so what do you do with these dudes that are stuck there? I'm gonna drop flame on them. So levels tend to be designed with some kind of puzzle aspect of how to solve it, but... Oh, can you get the, 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 the cake? No, I don't think I can get the cake. But they're also... No, oh, my banana! <laughs> I, I love how it kind of just... There's not a whole lot to any particular level. So... It's all very kind of relaxed, um, but at the same time, there's like wait, a wait, lot of the variety. King, oh, the king. Some levels are just kind of cool because they're they look funny. This one took me a long time to understand what how quite what jump means. Um, what's the technique? That's what I want. <laughs> I think I've got fast bubble now. I mean, not fast, but 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 but, but long bubble. Is that what I want? I'm trying to remember. Uh oh, I had a good technique for this level, but I've forgotten what it is. It's just really hard to get up there in the first place. Okay, now they're. <laughs> Now they're going berserk, when I'm, now that I'm finally up there. I think it's easier as a team, because, like, I could blow bubbles and then you can bounce on them. <laughs> the rollback showed me, like, you dying to the enemy for a moment, but then you hit it. Oops. Yeah. Oh, you're getting Roblox? I haven't noticed any Roblox at all. I just saw an instant of it. Yeah, that's the thing, like, Rollback with Corn. this game... Most of the time, you wouldn't notice it, because, like, it's the other player doing their own thing, I guess. Egg. Oh, yeah. Missed my jump. Get it. Can I? What is that? Uh, I don't know. Gotta pop these. I'll stay up here for the second batch. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh. <laughs> what? Chocolate, chocolate cake? Yeah, it looked like a nice cake. 
Ooh, yellow tea. I can actually, I can finish off my extend there. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, the potion would be nice. We could collect cookies. It's sort of like an extend. So, what did you like about the NES version? You don't like the level layout because it's harder? Well, it's not harder, but it's using some of the Master System levels? It's using lame levels in the first loop, and they should be in the second loop. Um, the Master System version, like, adds stuff to the game and actually makes it, um, a better one-player experience. Um, than any of the other versions. Um, I ended up... But that one was only released in Japan and Europe, and in Europe they didn't translate all the hints that were supposed to be a, a fun secret to figure out as you play the game. And instead they're just an indecipherable mystery. Um, so I, I made a translation patch for that. And then I found out someone already had made a translation patch for it, but... Uh, There isn't a lot of uh, text, right? In the game. There is quite a yeah. lot of hint text. Um, in yeah, what that happens version. when those, those just fall forever? So yep. you, just, you just don't get them. I used to love just like falling forever in that level. That was... Hamburger! So we do get some. Um... Hey, a peach! That totally Cherry looks like bomb. Crap. I was admiring the peach. Oh yeah, this level they have a very short fuse, so you gotta pop them fast. Some of the levels are like that. That's life here. That's something I like about the. That's that's one of the things I don't like about the arcade version. There's just uh, sometimes the difficulties. The enemy they give you just like no time to pop them, and it's always a surprise. Not so bad if you have. A lot of quarters, I guess, but <laughs> um, it's it's quite mean, I think. There's a blue teapot. Oh, I got burned. Did you see me like turn yeah, into a, a I crisp? Yeah, I didn't know we had we had a, we had a spy for getting getting burned. I got, I got burned too. I forgot about oh. that. That's that doesn't make it into the ports. Oh. What does that we, make sound like? we could have had a game over there if we weren't, if one of us wasn't quick enough. Like, there's very little time to press the button. I don't see a good spot in the sequence here. Plus, they do random things like that. <laughs> Fries! With, with, with a W. Some Walk Donalds, yeah. Yeah. So this one I always thought was like, um, sort of a... A cartoon character with like a hook for a head, kind of hunched over. Um, but then later I realized it's... It's the character from Chack and Pop, which is not in this... Which is like a game that sort of preceded this, which had some of the enemies. Yeah, I've seen Check and Pop. Um, um, I saw, saw TMR play. Where did we get this? Sundays? We got Sundays? But I never read those <sighs> on a lines on the left as eyes. I just read them as, like, part of a hand. SOS indeed. If they jump up underneath you, you're kind of. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, dang it. I couldn't survive. I'm surprised there isn't a credits indicator. I just added a bunch of cards just in case. I think that's my third continue. Really? I, I'm, I'm like probably like on my tenth. <gasps> chicken! 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 Ooh, slow down. <laughs> what kind of processor is this? Is this a 68k? Do we get beer? Game or... 
Uh, maybe. We got, I've, we got beer? We're, we're allowed to have beer in this game? I've got beer. I better be allowed to have beer. I'm having it. Oh, right. Oh, man. This level in the Atari ST version, um, twice we had a bug where uh, one of them, the bubbles floats too low, and then it wraps to the top of the screen, and it gets stuck in the, the O at the top of the screen. <laughs> so me and my dad would have the most difficult time dislodging it if that happened. Like, that was a game-ender kind of level as well. For that reason. Um, but that doesn't happen in the arcade version. In the arcade version, they barely give you any time to pop those, so... It's kind of a nuisance in another way. I mean, it's just cool that there's beer in the game. We've gotten sushi, we've got- yeah, I don't really drink beer. Hey, by the way, how you doing, <laughs> Mr. We're, um... We're apart, she's coming She's coming in tomorrow, so I'm playing Batman right now, she's... Ah. I mean, I've gotten sushi, we, we've gotten hamburgers, we've gotten beer. This game has a lot of good food. We've got lots, lots of fruit, too, and we've got some sundaes. And, and some... And some cake, and some uh, pot. Hey, look, that's the, that's the butterfly. I'm, I'm beginning to see what you mean about a date game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that cross will solve the, our the problems. Food. I don't know what it is with the Japanese and thinking that... Oh, you, you, cool, you, you fell out of the blue face. Um, Japanese thinking like, oh, uh, what, what, what is the women are going to like? They like food. Like, we should give them a game with food. I don't know why they think that food and sweets is, is what really... <gasps> Um, attracts women to video games. I'm, I meant as like a thing you do on a date. You know, you go get food and. You got the sushi. The experience of eating. We can pretend it's root beer. <laughs> you know, I actually have I have one more root beer that I bought, bought when I was with, with Brad. Is this the first appearance of the super drunk, or not the super drunk, the regular drunk? Oh, they they uh, actually no, you see them drink. You actually see them drink their bottle <gasps> in the arcade. Oh, that's what that is. Or they're allowed to drink. They're even drinking the inside the uh, <laughs> in the bubble. You can see them drinking their, bo their bottle. This game has so much alcohol. Oh, it's like it's a rubber bottle. Oh, you missed the, uh, rapid bubble. Just need a good opportunity to get up there, and then they keep jumping it. Oh, the bubbles are so short-lived! That That's one of the things I don't like about the arcade version. Like, there's so many levels where you have these short fuse bubbles, and it's so hard to deal with. That is something I like about the Atari ST version. They didn't bother to implement that. So, all levels have the same hey, timer. We the Atari ST version. Say hi to Axio. Oh, hi there, Axio. How's it going? A cool Brad memory from the IRC days. I miss IRC. Discord kind of killed it off for me. Every well, everybody like stopped talking on IRC because everybody was on Discord instead. It was funny that that that, that um, I finally learned what the character is. It's drinking. That's completely uh, censored in the NES version. I don't think it is. They still have the bottles. They don't drink from it though. Uh, I guess, but I don't think they drink in any of the ports of it. I think it's just they didn't want to implement the extra frames of animation. <laughs> oh, maybe. I don't know, like, in the in the Atari ST version, like, in the manual, it still calls them drunk, and tells you that it's bottles, but, um, it just doesn't have the an that animation. But I, I like the Atari ST version a lot, because it has... I like that it runs at 50 hertz. <laughs> it's a slightly... 
calmer experience at a slower frame rate. And but also it doesn't have like the short fuse thing that I was talking about. So it's kind of a more relaxed playthrough, I think. Oh no! Oh, I'm okay. Oh! I didn't see him coming. So, oh, hurry up already? Yeah, like every level has a different timer. Hey. Sometimes it's a very short right, timer. Alright, have a, have a good trip. I, I gotta go pick her up tomorrow uh, at the airport. Egg! <gasps> egg, 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 egg! I got the egg. Hey, only 20 for the egg? Why is the egg, 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 egg so so low? Candy? Maybe the candy will be better. And I just, I just want to eat the food in this game. That's what I want to do here. Yeah, I like, like how... You know what? I didn't... What? Well, I like how the, the value in a lot of the food, it's not really... It's not really, oh, wow, it's 10,000 points. What a good item. It's is... it's a food I haven't seen yet in the game. What a good thing. You know, like, what makes so, it fun okay, is just um... the novelty of it. So I was going to say about the drunks, I didn't even know those were bottles. I mean, I've seen the, the sprites on the NES, but I didn't know that they were throwing bottles at you. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they had to... I don't know how they described it in the NES manual. I haven't actually read that one. Um, I'd be kind of curious <laughs> that actually... Was that a crunch? I hit her crunch. BR10. I, I think I looked up what that meant at some point, but I forget what it, what it was. Well, look at the bubbles here. Jesus, look at this. What are we supposed to do with that? There's supposed to be currents, right? Something like that. Like, 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 uh, yep. each level has, like, a... ...direction that the bubbles go. I may have mentioned, but I'm thinking of making a Bubble Bobble Metroidvania. <laughs> a Bubble Bubble Metroidvania? Yeah. That seems kind of cool. Hey, new monsters! New monsters, what are these? These are called Vaders. Hey! Because they totally move like Space Invaders. Which is also a Taito game. Oh, you got the potion. What does that do? Uh, the potion um, turns the level into a bonus round. It fills... Usually fills the level with, like, an item to collect. There it seemed there was, like, only room for one item, so that's all you got. So, yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess you've seen now how the Vaders move. They're unpredictable. And they shoot lasers at oh, you. Man, it was ramen. Beer. beer! Beer! More beer! Beer and bananas. It also helps that I'm actually eating food in real life. I'm eating a pizza. Is there any pizza in this game? I don't think so. I wonder how popular pizza is in pizza. Japan, actually. They probably think it's gross, right? Don't they think that cheese is gross? I don't know. Most, uh, I mean, m most uh, Asians just think cheese is gross. I thought that they, they, they think it's... Why would you eat rotten, rotten milk? Really? Yeah. I was not I aware of that. I knew there was yeah. a higher lactose intolerance. In general. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they, they, they think that... <gasps> we, we, we got the, the, mon the monsters, what are they called? Uh... They finally showed up. Oh man, this is... Oh, this, this is gonna be hard. <gasps> the bubbles don't go up?! How can I do this if the bubbles don't go up? They don't go down, though. Or at least they go down very slowly. Anyhow, oh, I... you got up there! Yeah. The ring, the ring, the ring, the ring, the ring! My advanced technique. <laughs> So you blow bubbles against the wall and they stick, and then you can bounce back and forth. And that's that's the secret to this level. Um, but it, it, I, I could not figure that out as a kid, and like that level was another Game Ender level. <laughs> it was such a... You, it's a faucet, you, it's a faucet. There were so many levels that like we just didn't know how to do, so we'd hope 
that um, we'd get an umbrella that let us get past it. And sometimes we would, and then like after a bunch of tries, we'd like actually figure it out, and we'd feel so satisfied. Hey, you finally got the the cane treat. Nice. What is this? Is this a beer? I don't know what this is. It's a weird shape. <laughs> so now we get to run around and touch all the enemies. <laughs> this game's fun. I never actually played like this. It's like you know what? I, it's, it seems a lot more fun. I mean, I think you can also get. Well, I mean, it's, it's fun because because we can just pump quarters in this, in this in this case. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was the thing about the Atari ST version. Like, it had a generous number of continues, but a limited one, a limited number. So it wasn't easy, and we only beat it once, and it crashed because it was a pirated version, and like the last level wasn't. Like, the final boss wasn't properly on the disc or something. So, if we can pop one of these... There we go. Oh, you let him get you! <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, there's always more quarters. <laughs> uh, no. That was a bad idea. Oh yeah, I remember... So like... Ooh, the book. The book's the book. neat. The book of <coughs> earthquakes. What does that do? Earthquake? Yeah. Um... We would... we would realize that, it, that they were naturally occurring foods. Like, sometimes a food will appear at the end of the level... You know, from a treat or something. And sometimes the food will appear on its own out of nowhere, and it was always worth more points when that happened. <laughs> so I always thought about, like, natural... natural fruits. Oh, I gotta continue here. So I think I'm up to four... Four or five continues at this point. Run away. Which way? There's nowhere to run away. It's a lie. <laughs> Level title's a lie. Can you get the highball? Ah, I'm trying to get the highball. Is this like a fire? Yeah, flames will appear eventually. Uh oh, I fell down. Ooh. Oh, I was trying to bounce off that. I sacrificed myself to flood the stage. <laughs> but yeah, flames will appear and you can drop them in this gutter. Um... Oh, this level can be hard. Oh. <laughs> I love that I can hear your joystick. Ah, dang. I want the cane, I want the cane! Yeah. Oh no, I mistimed this. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh no. How are we gonna get out of here? Well, you take care of that enemy while I uh, work on this one up here. There we go. Nice! So you can oh, jump work. through the bottom of walls, and there's kind of a technique to it. Oh, man. So we... I th I think we got... When we and our dad got here, we had no idea what to do, because we had never had to, like, bounce on a bubble in such a tight quarters or something. Or... I don't know, we just didn't know... I don't know, I remember us being stuck here and, and not knowing how to get out. I guess because we could, didn't realize we could jump and then blow a bubble underneath. Like, if you blow a bubble as you're jumping up, um, it'll kind of get stuck under you and then you can jump on it. Oh, okay, I got out. Okay, okay. So, so there's a timing okay, to that? Yeah, and like, oh, 
it, we just got stuck there and, and it, <laughs> it was game over for us. I don't know. But then my dad figured it out. He had, he had an epiphany the next time we got there and we kept going. Push him. What does this do? Push him. Ah, uh, yeah. What is this? So usually it fills the level with like bonus items to grab, and then it ends when you get them all. See, this level's is drunk. Did they take this level out of the drunk. NES version? I think that's this is how we knew the name of the enemy. Oh, hang on. Oh, I wanted to get that bow tie. <laughs> oh well. Oh, sorry. It's okay. What's it won't last. It won't last long anyway. It's the rapid bubble. Probably the best power up. Oh, you, you just need, you, you, is that the E? No, you need the other E. There's the other E! You, you can finish your extent. Yes. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, what happened to the E? There's a, there it is again. Grab it. The other music in the game. Actually, the Atari ST soundtrack is a Tim Fallen soundtrack as well, so it's like very heavy and thick with arpeggiation. Okay, it's a short fuse level. Gotta be careful. What uses the water if it's just gonna go straight down? I lost my powers. This is tough. I'm a mere mortal again. I guess maybe, maybe you can drop the water straight on them from, from, from above. Yeah, it's hard to get them with the bubble since they they stay in the bubble for only a few seconds in this level. Oh god! I never... You know what's funny? This game doesn't feel too quarter munchery though. Ah. Okay, maybe that does. I think I would have lost two lives here. I mean, two continues here. We haven't gone that, uh, um, that was a new, um, popsicle. We haven't gone that through a popsicle yet. <clears throat> Chocolate popsicle. King, 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 king. I want the king, I want the king, I want the king, I want the king, I want the king. Okay, I'd like a chocolate popsicle. That sounds nice. I like these card-themed levels. I think there's one for each suit. Oh, that's what it is! It's, it's a card, I see. This is a, a club, right? Looks like it. Oh, it's the Arkanoid level. I never realized this was Arkanoid when I was a kid. What? I don't see it. <gasps> Egg, it, egg, egg, egg. Let's go the it's egg, the, the paddle egg. and it's the ball, and then it's the the blocks for the breakout at the top. It's Arkanoid. And what's around and what's and, and what's around the paddle? I don't know. Detritus, space debris. <laughs> but 
But it's funny, like, I had an Arkanoid game. I had, uh, Revenge of Doe on my Atari ST. That was... that was a pretty good one. It's weird playing it with the mouse. <laughs> you kind of slide to the right position. What are the enemies? Oh, it's gonna be a... Is this a I kanji? Think... No. <gasps> no, I think it's music, and then... Like, I think it's a music note, and then a backwards music note, and then, I don't know, a Z? Really? Huh. It's a flower, I guess. Oh no! Oh, another short fuse level. That's not that short. <laughs> they're fast. Oh, no, they're all... What does the treasure just do? Uh, I think that's just a big bone. Or that might drop a diamond at the end of the level. Ooh, that's a... okay. Let me see. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's an easy way to... Okay. So you gotta break him you out of jail. Him. Ah. Oh, you, got, you got him! Yeah. You gotta snipe him as you float by. Or jump. Well, that's tough. I still don't understand the, the motion uh, of the jumps and, and, the, and, the, and the walls. Oh, I see what you did. I see what you did. I that, see what you did. That's what oh, that there you are. that metal house did. It gave us a diamond. The house? I thought it was a. I thought it was a chest. Treasure chest. Or okay, now this is no, this is not a. This level uh, is. Um, I I put a version of this in Lizard, a tribute to this level. What? Where? Where'd you do that? I'm trying to remember what you did in Lizard. Uh, it's in the palace zone. Hey, you broke my bubbles. I'm trying to help. Sorry. <laughs> As a kid, I always thought you had to go up the ladder in the middle, but really going up the side is way safer. If you have good bubble technique. There we go. Here it comes. Oh. Flan! We got Flan! Yes. Have we had Flan before? Yep. I think I'm like Man, I really early on. Hi <laughs> <laughs> there, Sheriff Ram. How's it going? We are bubbling and or bobbling. So this one's, I think, supposed to be a computer chip. Oh, yeah, that's it. Alright, and that one in the middle is tricky. You gotta kind of bubble through the wall. Okay. Give me a bubble. Oh, nice. It's free! Oh! But it woke up. But it woke up as I was trying to burst the bubble. <laughs> yeah, not much time. I think bananas are what we've got the most of. I've eaten so many bananas in this game now. Something? Yeah, that's definitely the, the low tier fruit in this game. <laughs> oh, there's a potion. Oh, there was a stack of them. <gasps> potion, 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 potion. Yeah. Oh, I love how the music notes, they like drew in out of nowhere. That's a cool animation. I won them all. I won all of the bonus rounds. Kimi! Kimi! It's Kimi. I think one of the developers. I don't know. Ah! 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 <laughs> oh, umbrella. We're gonna skip levels. Oh, Dead heat! HC! That's our first umbrella. Oh, I should I actually grab. Oh, this level is so weird. Okay. <laughs> so. Well, maybe that bomb. Bomb? Can... What's a bomb? The bomb will you just finish the, the level for us. But see how see how that flame bubble is. Um, it was stopping in the in oh, wow. kind of the corridor there. What you have to do is like a bubble gets okay. a flame bubble gets there, and then you have to like nudge it 
to get it to move to the next spot, and then you have to nudge that one, and there's like a journey of the flame bubble <laughs> across the level, but we kind of just bypassed it with that. Uh... Just need a, a good window to just break a flame here. Or he could make a rush for that, uh... Ah, it wasn't high enough. There's another continue. I've, I've lost count now. Oops. I'm, I'm finding I sometimes jump unexpectedly, and I'm not sure what's causing it. I don't know if it's... There we go. <laughs> it got up there, but light died right away. It's a very careful timing to... <laughs> Do you think it's... it's um... Yeah, it could be the... Think it's that net lag? The network. What is this? ...thing. That... that... that is... a mushroom. A mushroom? What does that mean? I don't know, what's this thing in the center? Oh, I see. Oh, a joystick. It's a joystick, I think. Oh, joystick. That, that makes sense. Of course, of course. Much joy, yes. Like an arcade joystick. Yeah, man, 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 I get, I get, I see it now. I see it. That was a joystick. Wow, already another continue. Holy joystick. What is up with these bubbles in this level? It's what, the what super gamer like? level. Oh. They're, they're frozen, but they still hurt you. Okay. <laughs> Freezes them in time, but their bubbles <laughs> still only last an instant. So... I think super mode, I think to unlock it, normally... Like in the in the original version of the game, so I always think I think this is a boom box. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it. Could be. How do I get out of here? Ooh, the necklace. Up there, okay. Whoa, we got bubs. <gasps> bubs. Where does my? What are the bubs? What do they do? Just they just get points? <laughs> yeah. Did I just eat myself? If? Does it say if? I F. There's a period after it, so I guess it stands for something. But um Yeah, this is this is like the way up in levels where it's just If you got far enough we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna let you know who made the game. Oh, did you get the, uh... F? Oh, little computers. <gasps> what is this? Oh, computers. But an F? F is not a Japanese, um, letter. Why not? Who? Oh, Foo? wait, no, it's, uh... I always forget, it's, it's like a mixture between F and, and, and H, no? Is it like... Yeah, but, I mean, it gets transliterated as Foo. Why can't I get the... What? How do you get out of here? There we go. There we go. What did you do? I blew a bubble... What did you do? To, to the... Blow the bubble to the right, and it'll kind of come back to you. No, it's not. It's going the wrong no, way. No, you have to you have to stand on the left and blow the bubble. <laughs> it's, it's tricky. Oh, really? That didn't work? Like that? Okay. It was working for me. I don't know. Are we really almost done? Okay, so follow the arrows and don't get trapped in the gutter. Like that. Oh, okay. What arrows? The arrow is showing you exactly where to fall. So you fall straight down like this and do that. And then you break one out. And then you have a shot at getting it. It's oh, really, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. It's really I see, fiddly, I see, but... I understand, I understand. It's a weird level. Now what do we do with those enraged uh, Vaders there? There's two on the, on the left. 
I mean... You wish yourself there? good luck. <laughs> I guess I can use my, my airframes here. Okay, there we go. Yeah. It's a really weird level, friends, but we are ramping up for level 99 where you just kind of got to know all the weird physics of this game to get by. What is this? Oh, I think I managed to soft lock this level at one point by somehow getting like a water stuck in one of the middle um, chambers there. And the enemy was like just unfinishable. Sp spinning forever? Oh. Yeah, it was like stuck in the water going back and forth. Okay, so what do we need to do? I need to get a bubble here so I can... Oh yeah, blow a bubble here. Blow a bubble under me. This helps. A lot easier to play. <laughs> there you go. And I get all the candy. I get all the candy for the assist. Welcome! Welcome? You die? <gasps> what? Oh What's up with yeah! These guys? Look at them. The bubbles are fast. How do we? We can't. They won't move out of there, and we can't. Oh, they moved there now. Okay. Well, at least they can take out the, the one that's down there at the bottom. Oh no! Ah! It we went away! <laughs> They're stuck up there. Yeah, like getting these ones are really. Uh... <laughs> Will come? come? Hey, Enigma Wave. Hi, Enigma Wave. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, no. Well, look at that guy go! He's just like hopping everywhere. <laughs> I didn't even see him coming. All right. I wonder how much money we wait. Oh, this level. Yeah, this is the one I never know how to do. I think I saw Hungry Girl yet try this once. Um. You're just well, stuck in this level forever. Oh yeah, in the NES game, there's like a secret that you have to. Whoa. Okay, this is definitely super mode. No, they aren't supposed to be this fast. <laughs> Um... Ooh. Am I just stuck here forever? Um, until the monster comes? It'll come. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm useless. I'm a dead weight. I can't do anything. There's nowhere to go. I'm stuck. Hell! Now it's just faster. Okay, I got one of them. This is, this is the end of Bub. Ah! Uh, this is like a being, being stuck in an oubliette. <sighs> oh, wow, this, but it's so freaking fast! Yeah, I don't know why... It, I'm not used to this enemy being this fast. This is weird. It might be because it's super mode. Honestly, I haven't noticed any... differences that I thought were due to super mode. Like, it, they all look like the normal enemies that I'm used to for these levels, so... Unless we didn't do super mode and we did normal mode instead. No, we did super mode. Was it? No, we totally did super mode. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow, another continue. Oh, it's my uh, second continue on this no, level. No, 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 you're gonna get stuck. You're, you're gonna get stuck in the... Like me. I'm stuck here now, I can't get out ever again. Eventually... Wait, can I? I'm actually surprised how much time we have here before the monster comes. I'm a little bit surprised as well. Oh, you get points for just blowing bubbles. I didn't realize that. I get 10 points for each bubble blown. 
Okay, now I'm stuck too. Oh no! <laughs> so what do we do? Alright. So what do we do now? We just wait? Uh oh, and we both have no lives. That's okay. Just just hold start when you get hit. We'll be fine. Whoa, the bubble just bought. <laughs> that just sounds like a cheat, though. What happened there? A bubble burst and took out a monster? Yeah, when too many bubbles are in a, in a spot, eventually they break. And, uh... So in a situation like this, they will spontaneously break. Okay, we got to hurry up. They'll okay, come for no. us soon. So, I think it's gonna come first on my side, right? So, after I die... Um... I'm the one that's, I mean, can you get to that monster from my side? No. How do you get to that monster? The one that's still there. You can get to it from either side. Oh, no, oh, no. You have to jump above the middle and then kind of slide down through the wall. Free me! Okay. So... Okay. Oh, the bubble burst! <laughs> okay, so now now what do I do? What do I do now? I just uh, blow, hold right? Blow a bubble, and it'll fall into the gap. Um... Hmm. Okay, okay... Like, I would try and get into it from underneath, honestly, but... Oh! Okay, no, no, I was wrong. Oh my god, no, <laughs> my god, no! I was stuck here. I thought, I thought I could, like, hold right and fall, but no, that's not what I gotta do, eh? Yeah, this level's a real so, nuisance. I think you want to bounce up in it from underneath. Like, you don't you don't even want to go on the left two columns, you want to bounce up the middle column. So you kind of jump through the wall to get on that little block at the bottom, and then keep walking to the right, so that you can jump up in the third column. Hey, it's funny that the monster appeared sooner this time. Okay. Alright, so, what's the plan here? So, so I like... jump up, and then I move over like here? to the last moment, and then I get here. And now that I'm here, I can jump up this column. Wait. Like this. Okay, 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 I see you, I see you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so now that you're up there, what are you gonna do? Yes. <gasps> oh my god, that's amazing, that's amazing, oh my god. So in the Master I'm System version, bubble, bubble. they made a secret where you have to like, get to an item really fast. Oh, I forgot about the boss. It's already time. Oh, I gotta learn. Okay. Okay, so first I gotta get the, the potion, right? Oh, survive to get the potion. Yeah. And now my, my bubbles are, are explosive, right? Yeah. Uh, but each time I die, I have to I have to get the potion again. Uh. <laughs> There's sort of the uh, collateral effect of in two-player like. My lightning will stun you, and your lightning will stun me. Like, it's... it's a pretty easy boss to... watch and understand the pattern, but... with the second player it adds kind of... Yeah, so I'm actually getting in the way of helping here. Adds chaos. Well, we got quarters. <laughs> the quarters are free. You will just stab over your way. There's only one boss in the whole game? Yep. They actually added extra bosses in the Master System version. Um, yeah, and they added like a puzzle to that last level for unlocking um, kind of the second loop and like completing it. And then the second loop has like bonus levels. 
There's, there's a lot of really interesting things about the Master System version. And then the NES version is basically just like a rushed port of the Master System version, I believe. Which is what's <laughs> DVD logo. really weird about it. Yes, it is the DVD logo. Oh god, I can't even get that. What off. brand of DVD player was it that did that? Oh, oh, we almost got him. So when he turns into a bubble, we gotta pop him quick. Bam! So we might get the good end because we, we're in super mode. This good end! This good end! Look, we got a good end. Happy end. Happy end! This story is happy end. Oh, I love this dissolve effect. That's cool. <laughs> we got... Oh, you got the million points? I didn't get the million points. You got the million points. I got zero. <laughs> now you found the most important magic in the world. It's love and friendship! Oh my god. Give <laughs> <sighs> me a screenshot of that. Oh, well there's... Oh, there he is! IF! IF! There's a programmer. Do you think that's Ichiro or something like that? Yeah. It's funny that they actually use their their their, their real last names, just not their first names. Hmm. Bubble Un and Bubble Un. Bob and Bob. Oh, there's another name. Zen Chan, Monster, Skelly what? Monster. Oh, Skelly 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 Monster is the one that comes later, right? Bonnie Bo is the um the dog head on a spring. <laughs> I always just called them spring dogs when I was a kid. Oh, so Bobby is uh, my name when we're humans, right? And then we turn into Bob and Bub. Yeah. Oh, the other thing about the Atari ST version, which I didn't find out until I played through it more recently, it doesn't have a good ending or bad ending. It just has a weird ending that, that's, <laughs> like, mysterious. <laughs> and there is no good ending. <laughs> Oh, okay, so this wasn't a true ending. What do you mean? So if you beat the game, you would have, like, a moment to, like, write this down. And this is in an alphabet that if you get to round 20, the letters A to Z will be, like, on the bottom of the screen, and you can decipher the text. And this tells you to enter a code on the title screen, which starts super mode, or it's, that's what it's supposed to do. Um... So I think it's no, a set of oh inputs. so so this is t so this is telling you get get to level twenty without losing a life and then well you get to level twenty without losing a life and there's a secret that appears and you go in the secret and there's a secret room and there's a script there and there's some words there that are like some mysterious lore about the game <laughs> which if you've deciphered the alphabet. I don't, I don't know how anybody's supposed to do this, because you can see this for so little time, because it's an arcade game. Oh, I gotta enter my score. I guess you could take a Polaroid of it? Yeah, or if, like, your friend's watching while you're playing, <laughs> they can take notes. I don't know. But I think that's why they made this version where you had the option to choose super mode or normal mode. Maybe it timed out and we got normal mode. I don't know. Are we just dancing on our girlfriends now? It looks like we're dancing on our <laughs> girlfriends. Um, what's W? And William? Mystery. Oh yeah, my middle name, William Henry. Well, William, oh, you have two middle names. Yeah, I always resented arcade games for having only one middle name slot. <laughs> <laughs> William, William Henry. That sounds like a person like someone famous i don't know well there was like a there's been various times and places where people have like a, a preponderance of middle names <laughs> so um we got 22 credits in there 
Yeah, I was just pumping credits into this thing. <laughs> that was me, I'm sorry. I was just smashing the credit button. I can't seem to select the game mode. I guess only player one can select it. Wanna so go I... back into the, the Cave of Monsters? I think that started... Well, I just want to see... I feel like Super Mode should have had different monsters. So I feel like we were in normal mode. Because, I mean, this looks we the same, right? Mode. Oh, yeah. And no, in the, the, the next level is different. The, the next level in Super Mode has already has different monsters here. It has it has the, the, the... I don't know what they're called. The crown. Oh, that's just the points. I think we were playing in normal mode. No, we were playing in Super Mode. I slept in Super Mode. I did. I did. I did. I don't know. Let's game over and then try and start Super Mode again. I just want to... I just want to see because this the looks normal. The differences don't start right away. Like, like, look. Yeah, but the, yes, this is normal. This is totally what we got. But, but um, we, we weren't getting we're, we're getting a lot of crowns this time. This is weird. We're getting a crown on every level. Oh, what? that item is what the the secret item looks like in the Master System version in like the extra. Level. Okay, so I'll just game over. Okay, and then let's compare. I thought Super Mode would have Rascals on the first level. No, second or third. Are Rascals the, the, the ones that look like a... Like a Muppet? They shoot like fire. A Muppet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, try, try, try. Let's go again. Super game? Look at this. You know, I kind of like that the NES version has like a little animation from going to... Like when you go into the cave of monsters, and here we just kind of like appear out of nowhere. See, they're rascals. See? We we were playing normal mode. No, we were playing super mode. This we, didn't we, happen we when we were rascals at the very beginning. No, we didn't. <laughs> oh my god! Someone go check the vod. <laughs> we were totally were doing super mode. We were we were we got rascals we, at the very beginning. We were playing normal mode. What really? Yeah, we just play, did. Oh. We played through normal mode. You want to play through super mode? <laughs> We did do what the, what the, what the, we did do super mode. I, I selected super mode. I totally did. We didn't have rascals. We weren't oh, on super awesome. mode. Okay, well let's just do this, I guess. <laughs> It'll take us about an, about an hour and, and change, so that's, that's that's okay. I assume. Is everything rascals now? So I wonder if it will, um... So yeah, I, I think the way it's supposed to work is... Um, you play through the game, it tells you to come back with a friend. Corn dogs. Um... You play through the game oh, with new. a friend... Oh, you call them cold corn dogs? Wait, yeah. wait, you call them corn dogs? Not, not pogos? I'm not particular to the pogo brand, I mean they're fine, but... Other people make corn dogs. <laughs> I, yeah, a lot of people just call them pogo, and I don't know. I thought it was called. I always called it pogos. That's. I. I think that's just like the most popular Canadian brand. I guess I buy the cheaper brand. <laughs> Okay, fine. I guess we were playing normal mode because we we weren't getting drunk at the very beginning. Okay, fine. Yeah. It's a normal mode, not super mode. Well, I think what happened is like you tried super mode at the beginning and like you saw a little bit of it, and then we started playing and you were still thinking of that, and then it probably mm -hmm. timed out when you were trying to select it or something, because we paused on that screen for a little while. That's what I'm guessing happened. See, Texas agrees with me. They're, they're called pogos. Pogos for you as well. I mean, they have Pogo brand corn dogs at the store. <laughs> I will give you that. That's just I don't usually call them that. McDonald's. Sushi. I mean, ramen. I'm just here for the food. The object of this game is to eat food. <gasps> Two 
of ice cream. So I wonder if this will Let's unlock this secret that I was hoping to see. So in, in stage 20... Okay, so you beat the game with a friend, it tells you to do a no, no death to stage 20. Like, it gives you that hint. If you do that, a secret appears, which if you pay a lot of attention to it, or you get to it more than once, you can learn the alphabet. If you learn the alphabet, you can learn some lore from the secret level, um, but also read that game ending screen that has a code that basically is just like D, L, R, jump, bubble, left, right. Like, it's, it's a movement code to enter on the title screen, and that's supposed to unlock super mode, and that's how it works. And then you beat super mode and you get the... The super ending, whatever that is. I, I don't even remember what it is, <laughs> to be honest. Well, we, we, already, we already got happy end. Happy end is with a friend, but not the true end. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> With a friend, but not the true end. Thank you. <laughs> what? I don't know. Does that sound garbled or what? Hey, it's blue. Yeah, it just sounds kind of fun. Blue heart. Yeah, it changed color. It was red before. I want the chicken. Oh man, chicken. the chicken's hard to get. Yeah, it's hard to get in I there. Chicken. I like the way the ST version did this. Oh, I just figured it out. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> you got inside. You went in the bottom. Um, yeah. What did you figure out? If I break the the water in the air, it'll flow along the top of the heart, and I can ride it into the heart. Oh. Beer, 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 beer. But yeah, I think for the this mode, they just did a universal enemy substitution. Like, it's not... It's not even like the levels are designed, it's just... They switched the enemies. <laughs> I think when we get to the levels that the rascals were supposed to be in, they'll be the... The monsters. What the hell's happening to my bubbles? Look, we're not monsters. What are they called? What are the little, like, the chompy guys that are on stage one normally? Oh, th those are, uh... Bubs, or... No, like... Um... Oh! Oh, there you go, you flooded. You took one for the team. I still have my stupid bubbles. Ah! I couldn't get the popsicles. I mostly... I just wanted to see, um... Sushi! So I think when you unlock super mode, it will... make the secret levels appear every time. I think that is a thing that happens in super mode, but I'm not entirely certain. So, I guess after the game had been out for a while, they thought, like, not enough people are seeing the secrets, so let's just make Super Mode a thing you can select from the title screen. Like, this is the final reversion, revision of the game. Oh, I see. Uh, the sushi, the sushi, the sushi... No! Stupid thing. What even is that thing? Now I got the dumb, dumb bubbles again. Get that candy ring or whatever it is. Oh no! I was gonna get bottled. Chicken, 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 chicken dinner. It's funny when only uh, like one music note appears. Oh, the menorah. Oh my god, I hate the menorah. Wait, are you gonna follow that bubble? Oh, you can't get to it. I thought that was you were gonna try to hit it with uh, uh, a lightning I could, bubble. But these guys. These guys are fierce and unpredictable. Um, 
think I got him. Okay. There we go. Oh, fire one, not not. okay, so look for a magical door appearing where that pogo is. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you get to level 20, no deaths, a magical door would appear there in this level. Um, which I guess is not happening. Okay. Is it because you died? Yeah, I guess so. I thought Super Mode made them appear every time, but I guess I was wrong. Um, well, I was hoping to see that. So, like, that happened to me um, once or twice with my dad when we played the game. Like, we'd been playing the game for a long time, and we got really good at it. And we didn't realize we hadn't died. Like, we didn't realize that was a condition. Even if you get to the end of the game in the Atari ST version, it doesn't give you that hint. Like that, they just put in the secret without the the hint about how to get the secret. <laughs> um, but the secret stage is in there, and we got to it, and it was just like the spookiest thing. Like a game we've been playing for months, and all of a sudden, like something drastically different happens. It has like weird music, and like this weird temple and. It's hard to describe what it is, but... Ooh, peach, 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 I want a peach. I'm supposed to get in there. It, it, like that event <laughs> shocked me. I was thinking about it for weeks. Pineapple! Pineapple. Really? Was it that traumatic? And I, and I was like waiting for it to happen again forever and ever. And like eventually it did happen again, but it... It was so rare. So it was very interesting to eventually like have the internet and be able to read about why what is that weird secret in Bubble Bubble. <laughs> but it's made There was so much superstition and like belief to be formed about video games back then. Mm -hmm. Well it's made me value Um Things that happen rarely in a game, like... There, there's a value in, in rare events. And you see it in things like Spelunky, where... You know, there's things that happen in Spelunky that very specific conditions have to occur. And if you're just playing for a long time, like, it'll just happen out of nowhere after a while. And it's just like, what is this? This is so weird. I've never seen that before. And it's... It's really good to have that, and a lot of games avoid... They avoid working on content that they think nobody's gonna see. You know what I mean? But do you think this should be done for the art? So there's there's an avoidance of rare events that are gonna... Ugh. Make the so, game better for gonna... <laughs> very few people, I guess? I don't know. So that makes me think of... Um... What do you go? One of the Final Fantasies twelve, I think, or something like that. Yeah, Final Fantasy twelve has a thing where where there's like an there, there's like some items that drop very rarely. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, they also have it in Final Fantasy four. That's there are just some items that take. Uh, is, isn't that all the Final Fantasies, or they're not? Do they all have that? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I guess all the Fantasies have this thing where they like to have something really, really rare. Uh, I mean. But but some, sometimes it's just so rare that it's kind of like dumb. Um, like it, it just uh, to, to me to, to me that just feels like it's drawing out the length of the game. I mean it's it's padding the game of the the length of the game by making it do something repetitive over and over again. Well, I would say I'm not sure they even intended that because how would you even know the item exists <laughs> in the first place? Like, I, I feel like if you just play the game, there's no indication that there's a rare item anywhere. You're... so... 
for a single player, it might be just a special experience that they have, and it becomes revealed only when you, like, talk about it with friends. And that's Why interesting to me. Fast? But then, when you ha but now in this era of, like, achievements and guides, like, everybody knows about... The, like, the DS version of Final Fantasy IV, they added, like, a whole another set of ultra-rare items on top of the ones that already existed in the game. The, the, the pink tail? Yeah. There's, like, yeah, a whole... Yeah, but that's, that's the thing. They had, they had the items, but people know they're there. So then it just becomes this, like, thing where, like, oh, I know I gotta do this, and then it just is this really, really repetitive, boring thing you gotta be doing forever. Well, like, now you literally have a checklist for it. There's an achievement system in Steam that says, hey, you didn't get the Onion Knight armor, or whatever it's called. Mm hmm And, I don't know, I feel like that really takes away from... The value of doing it for its own sake. If <laughs> you do it for an achievement. I don't know. I don't um, like achievements to begin with. I just like, realized that the, the, the drunk's actually moving drunk. They move back and forth. Like, for Lizard, I only put achievements on things that I thought might be obvious or might be a hint for something to try that just does something a little funny. But, you know, there were stuff I wanted to be secret, and I definitely didn't want an achievement for those things, because then I would say, go find this, and then everybody would find it. And I feel it's, it's a more valuable secret if fewer people find it, you know? People can tell each other about it. You've got some of... really secret secrets. you got some really, really, really secret secrets in Lizard. So there's stuff that I don't know how- I mean, you, you tell me people, people are fun, I just don't know how anyone's ever found some of, the, some of your secrets. Well, but everyone's they... found, them, found them, right? I mean- How'd they all get out? Sorry, not everyone, but- <laughs> I was trying to get in, and then, like, I look up, and <laughs> all the sharks are out. <laughs> oh, so that's a peach, right? I, I, I like the peach a lot. I guess so. I always thought the tier 2 one also looked like a peach, but maybe it's supposed to be an apple. Not sure. I think it's an orange. It looks to me like an orange. So yeah, banana, tier 2, is... You think that's an orange? Maybe. It's like... I feel like an orange would be more textured. But maybe it could be an orange. Okay, I'll just drop a... Maybe flame. orange is... Maybe oranges are, are, are rare in Japan. Just, I don't just like think pineapples. so. <laughs> I don't think oranges are, but maybe pineapples. Well, I've, I've heard that pineapples yeah. aren't particularly... ...well-known. Like, they're more of an exotic fruit. I mean, histor historically they were pretty exotic. I mean, in Japan. I just don't know this because of a... Uh, an anime that I watched that, that had like a plot line about pineapples. I think I told you Was about that. Was that okay? I don't know. Maybe you told me about that. Maybe that's where I, what I'd heard. Yeah, I mean, there, there was there was a anime with a plot line about a character who eats a pineapple and it's like, oh my god, this is so rare, and she tries to like it, but she but she doesn't actually like it because <laughs> they got a really bad pineapple in Japan. I don't really like pineapple either. What? Really? At all? Uh, not really. Is I don't because... hate it, but. It's, it's not a fruit I would seek out. Is it because it tries to eat you back as you eat it? There it is. That's the secret of this level. There's a little spot you can jump on. And what does it do? And, well, you can bubble up like I just did. I guess you weren't seeing because you were playing, but... No, I was I was actually looking at, at you. I mean, I saw that you got in the middle, oh. so... And then... Basically right above That's where you were standing. Jump. I don't know. Well, maybe I have a chance to do it again, but... Boom. Right about here. Like that. That's the secret. <laughs> or at least that's my secret. I don't know if that's the intended way, but... Oh. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. To escape.
you get in there? I blew a bubble, ran to it, and then jumped on it. Oh, there's this one again. Oops. Uh, now I'm too late to get that thing. Where am I? I don't know. Yep. No! <laughs> oh, I'm okay. You got it. Here we go. Did we skip this level? Did I get a an umbrella? I always like this no, one. No, we got an umbrella. Really. You kind of wait for a bubble to appear under a flame so you can pop the flame but then bounce back up. I guess you <laughs> you just went commando on it though. Thing there, I don't do. I still don't get the timing for to bounce to jump on bubbles. Well, you, you can just hold the jump button. Oh, you can just hold the jump button? Yeah. What what happened here? What happened here? Where did, where did the level change color? Uh, I got a clock, I think. Oh, I see. And I always loved the, I got the lyrics. The different tile textures in this game. Like, how, how this level is kind of like this plaid surface, and then the previous one was like these chunky tiles that had like an H in them. Or they look like they belong in a bathroom, or... Hi there, Cal Morgan. How's it going? See? Cal Morgan? Cal Morgan, see? See? Yeah, you can just hold the jump button. There I am, I'm just holding the jump button. I'm going all the way up. How come no one ever told me that? I thought you had to time it carefully to jump in the bubble. I don't know. I was used to, as a kid, Tari SD is up to jump. <laughs> so, just hold up. And it happens. So, if I make a, a Bubble Bubble Metroidvania, I have to... It's gonna have to not be bubbles. <laughs> I guess it'll be like balloons. Maybe it'll be balloon themed. I don't know. Chuck! Chuck and pop! Yep. So, like, the eyes on the left, I had seen as, like, the left arm kind of like holding something and the little hook at the top I saw is their head oh I can get extend if my Lucky, jump button Lucky, Lucky, Lucky. Well, I Lucky couldn't again. release the jump button for some reason the Tika cat toxic? was Tika watching, it, watching it, the game? <laughs> the cat's watching oh, the game oh my, my cat oh my cat my cat's watching the game I thought you were talking about Tika I thought you were oh. About your cat. oh there you go See, now the levels are easier, because the uh, rascals have been downgraded to, uh... What are they called? Oh... It slipped off. Sushi, sushi, sushi! Oh! I thought he was going to get stuck up there. Blue popsicles. What flavor do you think that is? Blue, blue's a flavor. Those are not flavors. Get the sushi, get the sushi, get the sushi! Get the beer! I just want the food. Oh yeah, that one yeah, is sushi. I always thought that one was an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> but no, you're sushi. right, Obviously it's sushi. sushi, yeah. Well, now that I know what sushi is... Oh, yeah, ouch, with the ridiculously short fuse bubbles. Pun, pun, pun. I wonder what says pun when you blow, when you explode a bubble. Is that like a Japanese word for, for pop? 
Pong, pong. pong I guess. Pong, pong. Yeah, okay. You may just press like that. That sounds more Japanese. Sure. <gasps> the team, the team, on 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 the team. My team, my team, my team. My team, my team, my team. Where's my team? team. Uh. Oh no. My team's oh. gone. There we go. That's that's what I wanted to do in that other level, like bounce off a drop a, a flame, but bounce on something that was coming up underneath. But I did it by accident here. <laughs> Blue raspberry, Blue Raz. Two Zeds. Is that what you? Uh oh. Potion, 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 potion. Oh, we missed a potion. I got the sushi. That's better. I miss California sushi. I used to get sushi quite oh, often there, seen... and I don't know. I just haven't had any sushi I thought was great in this area, like in Toronto or... Have you seen Mexican sushi? No. Have you ever seen Mexican sushi? <laughs> they had all sorts of dumb ingredients to it. They had like guacamole and chipotle and like and like uh, braised beef and like a bunch of things that are got nothing to do with sushi. Like the only thing that's sushi about it is that it's it's uh, served served on, on rice. I hope I didn't do something bad there. <laughs> that was weird. Boy. Well, I got the the power up. Like the level ending power up after all the monsters were gone. What's this? What's this? What's this? Is this sushi? Oh, what is that? Look at that. I think it's a plate of curry. Curry? With a spoon. Japanese curry? Curry and rice with a spoon. That's what it looked like to me. But I used to do that as a kid, I would just like bu blow bubbles against the wall to increase my score. Oh, you got the extend. My extend. Nice one P. The game likes my my one P. <laughs> Crown. I got the speed up, so it's sometimes hard to wiggle in there. Without going too far. There we go. Oh my god. Whole new world, holding you to jump, jump on bubbles. You know that, that also, uh, something that, that took me a while to realize about Lizard? Um, if you hold A, and, uh, and, uh, and you're in the air, you, you, you'll jump as soon as you land, yep. which is so helpful in losing a bunch of places. I, it took me a while to realize that that's actually a mechanic of the game. I feel that, like, it's a great way to implement jumps. It's just how I like to do it, and, like, so few games actually do that. Already? I'm gonna get the skeleton monster so soon. I guess it's it's sure, the skeleton monster, monster themed level, <laughs> so maybe they wanted them oh, to appear. Oh yeah, 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 makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. I see, I see, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. This is much better. Oh, eggplant, eggplant, <gasps> twenty points. I got the eggplant. Why is it so cheap? That, that's probably. You no, know, I hate eggplants. Maybe that's why eggplants taste bad. Well, I think. Like, isn't eggplant the the vegetable all kids hate in Japan? Like, isn't that kind of its reputation? Really? 
Like, isn't that why it's like the bad thing in Adventure Island? And that's oh, what I, yeah, I read. Yeah, it's also like the bad thing in in, in, in uh, it's also like like the bad vegetable in um, Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus, yeah. The... It's like a punishment, and here it's only twenty points. <laughs> I wonder if it has an effect. I know, so I guess... Oh, I need to see the second tier thing to compare. You could call that a peach. It does look quite peachy. All right, the fast yeah, bubbles. Oh. Okay, we're gonna get a diamond at the end. Oh no, I finally lost my power-ups! I was having such a good run there. That was a long streak. Let's see if I can get it to pop the bubble. Burgers! It's burgers! This seems like it should be easier without it. At first I thought it was e these levels were going to be easier with these guys, but the, the flames are their own <laughs> problem. Oh! Maybe I can get flames too and we can... Oh! I thought that was the flame cross, but I was wrong. Well, so each cross is different, right? You gotta memorize the colors to know what it does? Yeah, there's the lightning, there's the flood. There's one that gives you flame power. Beer, 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 beer. See, that, that thing above there, that's, like, that, that's uh, an orange. Oh, I thought it was green for a moment, having the Battletoads problem. <laughs> no, I'm green. I'm always green. I'm a green. I'm a, I'm a green toad, and I'm a green dragon. Or what am I? What am I? Am I a lizard? Am I a dragon? Am I a dinosaur? So, this is my advanced technique for. Solving this. Oh wow, you found some. Uh... You have no chance to survive. Make your time. But maybe you do. Should... No, no, no. Oh, maybe, maybe it is a persimmon. Actually, that is kind of... Oh. We didn't get perfect this time. But I win! I win! I win! I win! Could I win, be a persimmon. I win! I win! I win! I win! <laughs> yeah, you're right. It does look a lot more, more like, like a persimmon. I never knew what persimmons were until, like... ...much later in life. Not the faucet! Yeah, the faucet level. I and learned then... about them from Princess Tomato. Um, I was in California, and like one of my coworkers had uh, a persimmon tree, and they just brought a bunch to work one day. Person. And and I took one home, and I didn't really like it. <laughs> um, but then I tried them again later. Uh, I tried drying them a few years ago, and they're really wonderful dried. And I would like to do it again, but it's kind of a lot of work. <laughs> hey, how come these look like, uh... They look like, uh, the ghosts in Pac-Man. What look like the ghosts in Pac-Man? It's Pac like we've got the power palette. 
the the enemies froze and they had like their like their like uh oh they turned blue mouth like the ghosts in pack yeah they turned blue and they had a crooked mouth like like in Pac-Man. Well, like when you pop the bubble, they have a blue version of their sprite. That's like the distressed version. Oh! Ah, oh, now I got hit by the same way that happened to you last time. <laughs> I took a life there. Oh, is this one again? Okay. I haven't played the Amiga port oh, of this game, but I think it's very similar to the, um... Oh, let me just <gasps> look, cause look, an look. earthquake. There you go. Um, I think it's very probably very similar to the Atari ST version. But I thought the Atari ST one was a really good port. Like, it has... Like, all the levels from the arcade... more or less intact. It's a lot closer than the NES version, I feel. Like, the NES version is just weird. And it's still good, but it's just weird in some ways that I, I don't care for <laughs> compared to the other versions. The Master System version, they added extra bosses, they added all these, like, extra secrets, and, like, a whole hint system to get you to it, but... Then that version of the game never got released. Outside of Japan, so it just felt like regular bubble bobble in Europe, probably. Well, look at these long bubbles. Bouncy, bouncy, so much easier now to bounce. <gasps> oh, I want the T, I want the T, I want the T, I want the T, I want the T. I want the E. 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 Can I get the E? Can I get the E? No, I can't get the E. I'll stop. Trying to drop the... There we go. Now the space is cleared for me. Oh! That was unfortunate. I didn't realize they were gonna break out so fast. I didn't realize it was one of those levels. Surprise. But yeah, it's a feature I don't really like about the arcade version. It'd be interesting if, like, they could communicate that to the player before you start a level. Like, like, like this game if all the a lot enemies... of things that are just, like... Well, I'm trying to think of, like, a way to communicate that to the player that feels a little bit natural. Like, you could have all the enemies start in a bubble, and then their bubble pops at the start of the level, and that kind of gives you an idea, but I don't know. But some levels, they're supposed to stay in there for a while, so... I don't know. Where are you? Oh, I thought you were gone. didn't see you. What do we do with that dude over there? Look at him. Uh, you can bubble through the wall underneath, from underneath. Okay. I'll try to ride your bubbles. I'll try to do it. Fast enough that we don't... Oh! Thank you. <laughs> Teamwork. Ah! Oh, that's gonna work. Teamwork. High tech. Right here. Yeah, so... Ooh. Oh. That was tough. Hi there, Grocer Goodwill. How's it going? Oh, I didn't realize the new person came up by. Yeah, um... I can't get out! I can't get out! So a while ago, like, there were persimmons available, I guess in the fall is when they usually show up. And I bought... 
I don't know, like six of them. And I just kind of peeled them and then hung them up for a long time. It took a few months. And they became a really nice dried snack. They were great to have with tea. Oh! I, I love that mechanic of, like, you have to blow bubbles from the front, but to pop them, you have to get around to the <laughs> other side. Okay, so... Okay, man, I finally, if I finally managed to get out of there, and, and the level ended when I managed oh. to get out. <laughs> How did I die on the potion? Me, me, me. Oh, damn it. How do I have to get down there? I win! <laughs> oh wow, putting drunks in here. I thought the... <sighs> wow. Okay, peach. Ah... Uh... Come on, that's still, that's still your peach. Yeah, I'll agree with peach. It's very... Could be a persimmon. No, the persimmon is the one that I thought was an orange, I think. Well, no, could be an could orange. Be, uh... Drunk? But there's no drunk. What is it called drunk? Well, the enemies have been swapped. Drunks for mitas. Oh, we skipped this level last time, didn't we? Or maybe oh, we just... yeah, I think we, I think, yeah, yeah, we totally did. Oh, got us both. I wonder to what extent this was inspired by Joust. And that whole, you know, like, knock a enemy... Joust? Yeah, hi like... Hyble, hyble, I want the hyble, I want the hyble. Just the enemies having... Oh, my jump is stuck again. Um... Ah! Yeah, it's still... Getting spurious jumps. Um... The idea that you have to, like, kind of disable an enemy and then go kick them off. Like you do in Joust. And oh, then I never Joust. And then that was That's direct inspiration one. for, uh, like, the first Mario Brothers game. And so it became kicking a turtle out of its shell and then kicking the turtle. In that. I'm, I'm wondering, like, what other games might oh, be. Oh, really? I think those fell from Joust. Yeah, well, at first... What is that? Is that a pear in the middle? Looks like it, yeah. Oh, cookies. What did we just get to? Cookies? Raspberry turnovers. Me, me, me. Oh. <laughs> you just got it. I won, I won, I won! I won. Is the spaceship Vaus and the evil bricks which it has sworn to destroy? It's gonna be <gasps> tough not to frozen, let me not. Oh, I just... Ouch. they don't last in the bubbles. It's so frustrating. So yeah, this one is weird. It's sort of symmetrical. I think it's supposed to be music notes, but I don't know. It 
What's that conch doing there? You can't eat one. It's a shell. See, okay, so see that thing on the right? That that that, that was okay. That that, that was an orange. Hello, Norma Mister. You're back. Are you packed? Hello, hello. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, another one. They had a timing where what? they let some of the enemies go earlier than the others. I wonder what this does. Is this the... Oh, it's lightning. We've gotten pretty far now. 20 levels to go. So yeah, in the palace, there is... Um, I put a crab enemy at the top of a structure that looks a lot like this. As a tribute. Palace, there's a crab enemy at the top of the structure? I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, it's sort of like the, the first floor of the palace. And lizard. All right, have a good have a good night, and remember, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, okay, fine. I'll go drink. Hold on, hold on. Well, can you pause? Okay, I'm just gonna try to, to see. I'll, I'll put on back. I'm gonna get some water. I've been told to drink. Hold on, I'll be right back. I mean, I'm sure there is a pot. Oh, oh, I've done the the terrible thing jumped inside the computer chip, and somehow I survived. <laughs> oh, they popped. If I die, I have to make sure to hold start, otherwise I might lose the continue. No, no, there is... The thing is that this game doesn't really have a place to pause. There's, there's, no, there's really no place, no place to wait. Anyways, thank you. This is for you. I'm gonna miss them. Well, I mean, you could always okay. open the retro arc menu. <laughs> no, I don't know how that works in netplay. I think that we might just going to do that. It just pauses the game if you open the menu in, in netplay. I've got it to I've got it to not pause, actually. And I, I think we've tried that before, and when one of us pauses and the other one doesn't, I think we end up disconnecting. I don't remember that ever. I remember just pausing when one of us gets in the menu. That's that's what seems to happen. Really? Yeah. Well, oh. I wasn't sure. <gasps> Dang it. Got it. See? They totally oh. look like, 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 like ghosts. Yeah, it's fine. They do... Their, their distress does look a lot like a ghost. Because they're blue and... and it's, it's like getting the power pellets. Dead heat. Oh, we skipped these levels before. But we we did see this level. Oh, did we skip some level this time? Okay, so this level. Oh, I <gasps> wanted to not pop that. But you want to kind of. I think what you got to do is blow a lot of bubbles to displace it. Oh, I let it pop. Okay, there we go. It displaced it from the first place. And, oh, it went the wrong way. <laughs> Can we get the fire in here? Okay. There we go. Load, load, load. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. Come here, come here. Journey of blow it, blow, blow, journey blow, blow. of a bubble. Oh no, it's not going. It's not going. There, there, no, there, there. Okay, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. You have sacrificed yourself to pop it. <laughs> there we go. I took one for the team there. Anyhow, so we we did get to see that one after all. How do you do it without dying, though? Uh, if you can pop it and then bounce on a bubble beneath, it's possible. Or you can kind of pop it from the side. 
Oh, I want the magic potion. The magic, whatever that is. The magic lamp. What is it? Uh, I don't know. It's probably a combination of two powers. I think that's what a lot of the teapots are. In the Atari ST version, the yellow tea and the green E were very rare items for some reason. And so, like, whenever we'd see them, it would be an exciting time. So this is an arcade joystick. Okay, arcade joystick, yeah, right. Yeah. So there's a stick of joy here. I mean, what else would it be? It's a joystick! I see, I see the joystick, yeah. Super Gamer! You know, I, I, I thought that the word gamer wasn't uh, used until much later, but this game shows up... I, I, thought, I thought like people didn't call themselves gamers until later, but... Yeah, apparently playing an uh, arcade game makes you a gamer back, back then. <laughs> I'm getting a level 91 of Bubble Bobble is... Pretty significant, I'd say. I, I like that the tiles here say BB on, on the sides. BB. Or Bub and Bob. That's us, Bub and Bob. MTJ. Who's MTJ? Uh, they were in the credits. Oh. 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 We got Bubs. Bubs. This is IF. Oh, checking. What is this? Oh, it's, it's it's Chuck. That was Chuck. That was Chuck, right? Yep. N S Q or N S O. I believe so. I missed the D? How'd I miss the D? I, 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 I got the D. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry that I got the D. <laughs> Wish we could bounce the Charles heads here. What's that? I wish we could bounce off each other's heads. Oh. Okay, so what I did was this, and then I bounced like that. Wait, so you bounce from... <gasps> There's a bomb. Can I get a bomb? No, I can get the bomb. I, could, I couldn't get it. I didn't understand all how to do it. Oh, it's a red now. Right here, right? Oh! That was a dirty one. Nice. Oh, I got the extent. No, you're just missing the... You're still missing the D, right? I guess so. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a whole like there like the randomness of the system in this game, like for how things appear. Um, everything has like rules and ways it happens. Like if you do certain things, like an, uh, an umbrella will appear, or if you do certain things, the letter D will appear. Like there's there's a, a very Complicated system of rules, which. Wait. Oh, do you want me to? Wait. Yeah. Right hand bubbles. <laughs> Aren't you like too far away? There we go. Uh. Well, we got one of them. Still got the speedy power up. It's hard to. There.
โอ้More blue raspberry. Welcome. Welcome to die. Oh wait, this used to be a drunks before. Yep. Drunks and Mida exchange. Oh god. So wait, what do I do with these like? So I don't think you can attack them in the slot. Just kind of weird. D would be real nice right about now. Fortunately, oh, the level has... up so, so quickly? The level has no vents. Oh. Gotten in the E. <laughs> oh! What? I thought I died, but then... I was still alive? Hmm, how can I do this? Oh my god. You got them? Nice. Yeah. Teamwork! Teamwork! Yeah, and there's a really, like, interesting system where you can kind of... Okay, let's see if I can do this without getting stuck this time. Do the monsters follow the currents? No, they don't. I they were following the current there. Oh, you got sent back to the start. There we go. Am I stuck here now? I'm stuck here, aren't I? I did. I'm stuck. I'm a little... Vexed by what's going on here. Are you seeing Wait, this? Are we soft locked? No. Oh, are we soft locked? No way. I don't know. How are we gonna get that one? Maybe easier to try from the left. <gasps> We're totally soft locked. We're totally soft locked. I'm gonna try and get in that little... There we go. What? What happened? What happened? How did you do that? That was amazing! I blew a I bubble. I didn't even see that happen. If you, if you give a, get a contact bubble with something, often you can just blow a bubble and pop it kind of in the same frame. And I think it's... All right. I got squished. Oh wait, we can zap our girlfriends? Can we? What happens if you do yeah, that? I think I... Uh... I don't know. Do they react with their little... I think I saw them react when I zapped them. Let me try again. Let me see if I can get up there again. <laughs> hmm. Here we go. Hmm, I didn't see a reaction. I mean, it was wrong. Yeah, there's no reaction.
seems like the pattern right now favors you than me. Oh no, it's, no, it's different. Okay. Ah. Oh, we almost got it. It's coming up. No, oh, wait. No. <gasps> what? We didn't have to what? pop it? What is this? It's Mama and Papa. Oh, Mama! Mama. It turns out they were drawn cold. <laughs> Wait, so this is a game about our parents getting drunk and taking away our girlfriends? <laughs> I guess. Is that what happened? <laughs> so we got the happy end again? Oh, the shooting star. This time I got the points! I got the one million points. Yatta! You could help your father and mother, they were controlled by someone. Who is he? No one knows of it. The truth is in the darkness forever. The end! <laughs> what? Well, that's a... That's a okay, what was it? Mysterious. Uh, MTJ, that, that, was, that was the first... Mitsuji? Thanks, thanks. For... That was the MTJ that we saw. Kimijima. Thank you, thank you, Tarksix. Oh, so Kimijima made the sound. Oh, Kimi! Right. Okay, Kimijima. Kimi. Right, okay. Hey, speaking of sound, that's what you did for, um... For Halloween Haunted 85, right? Sorry. Yeah, I did some Haunted sound programming. Hal I didn't do any music or anything like that. I did some programming for it, but... But did they, like, hire you, or, or did they just, like, grab your code that you put up online somewhere? Yeah, they hired me. Hmm. Use you for your for the for the sequel as well, eighty six. No, you want the credits for that one. No. Uh, they might have extended what I did from before, but. I don't know. I was kind of busy at the time. They did ask me. Did I tell you that I um? So I bought both games, and I, and and eighty five works, but. 86, I couldn't get it to work, and then I looked at the cartridge, and it looked like the PCB was a little warped. Oh. Is this my name? Yep. The mysterious phone owner of alcoholism. That may, that sounds about right. So, there are certain passwords that if you put in, um, the first uh, item drops at the end of the first level will be like something weird, like they could be flamingos, or they could be pieces of poo. Or they could be forks, um, and it responds to your, <laughs> your password. Clear one hundred. Um, uh, there we go. You got get number one and number two. And we we put oh, so in. You do get bonuses. We put in forty-four credits. Uh, yeah, I well, I think we put in about twenty credits going through the first time. <laughs> we we had like twenty. Now we have like twice that after a second playthrough. Imagine being that person just like just throwing our quarters like into a game and then like you beat it and then you leave and <laughs> just like people play it all day with the credits you leave in it. It'd be interesting. I've seen uh, that happen to me a couple of times when I was a kid. I was good oh. I was like, oh my god, it's got so many credits on it. Yeah. That was pretty excited when that happened. <laughs> so how many credits? So we spent like what, like $20 for this? $10 for this? To play this one, one night? Well, it was ten dollars sitting in there, I guess. Maybe, yeah, maybe it was like twenty. So, oh, yeah, man. I guess we could beat it on like ten dollars. I don't think I could have done that as a kid, but I didn't have a kind of. Nobody was bankrolling <laughs> my arcade when I was a kid like that. Um. So I'd say that was a pretty good playthrough. <laughs> yeah, thanks. 